It's the last week of summer vacation and you're in your classroom and everything is in the middle of the floor and your computers are not connected. Did you know that you can reconnect your computer yourself? Hi, my name is Beverly and your mission if you choose to accept is to reconnect your computer. Let's begin. Before we connect our computer, there are some things you need to have for each computer in your classroom. One is an internet cable. It has two prongs, one at each end. You also need to have two power cables that will plug the computer and your monitor into the wall. And the last thing you need is a monitor cable. Let's begin to hook up the computer. Let's start with the monitor cable. When you look at your monitor cable, you will see that it has pens sticking out of each end. Sometimes they're color coded and sometimes they're not. In this case, they are. And you can match the color code of the one end of your cable and put it into the back of the computer. We want to make sure that we screw in the cable so it doesn't loosen by accident. The other end of the cable will be uh, placed into the back of the monitor. And you need to hold it down and look under and you can see the blue matches the blue. And we also need to screw that in as well. So we'll have a good connection. As you can see, our monitor and computer are connected. Our next step is to connect our power cords. And as you can see, the power cord has the part where it will be plugged into the outlet and the part that will be plugged into the computer. And it's easy to match. It has three holes here. Look for the three prongs on the computer and just plug it in. The same with the monitor, because the monitor will not work unless it's plugged into the wall. We have our power source now, now plugged Don't in. Don't forget to plug them into the wall. We're almost there. The next thing you need to plug in is your internet connection. And on the cord for the internet connection, there is a little tab. Be very careful with this tab because it's easy to break it off. Hold the tab down and connect it to the back of your computer. And you should hear a click. The other end will go into the wall and you should also hear a click. Our final step for connection is to connect the, the mouse and the keyboard. And both of those items are connected into the back of the computer. At this point, you should place your monitor on top of your computer. Bring your keyboard to the front and turn the computer on. And we have connection, mission possible.